Okay, hello everybody, this is part 4 of my Ferguson TD20 head gasket rebuild. Uh, at the moment I'm putting the head studs in. I did have a beginning part to this video which explained what I was going to do, but that didn't really want to load. So I just did a bit of a, yeah, you see me putting the head studs in, and then I'll get into the video. Okay, well that's all the head studs put in. I put a little bit of oil on a few which were a bit sticky. I'm always fine with these bloody disposable gloves, they're brilliant, but they always go on the thumbs. Then there's no point in having them on. Well, I don't know. You'll see what we're doing next. Okay, just a quick update. I've cleaned all the head, and I'm in the process of lapping the valves. I've done a first coat, of course, all along them. It's made the ends of, it's made the valves have got a seat on them, but the actual head, you can see that hasn't really made much of a mark. So I think I'm going to do it once more with coarse and then finish it off with fine because they were quite pitted. So I'm going to have to have a look. So it's some of them, like that one there, you can't even see that it's done anything. So yeah, well, I'll get on with that. It's not really a very easy thing to film, but I suppose if I put the cap tripod up, it should be all right. All right, I'll get on you. See a time lapse of me lapping the valves. Okay, so now as you see, we've got the head back on, got all the valves reseated, and they're all cleaned and put back in there. So that's perfect compared to what it was before. I so should be able to just put a picture in about now of when it was back in. All right, so then I'm cleaning all of this out, all of the oil that was in there. Uh, the, I've got a new inlet manifold to come and a new stud. So that stud sheared off and managed to get it back out. And the inlet manifold that's over there is cracked. So, and I've also got a new fan belt coming because the old one's got a split in it. Even though that one's not actually that old. So I can't put the radiator or the bonnet or anything back on because I've got the fan belt on. So I'm thinking if I can get the... I should be able to get all the rocker gear and the push rods and all of that and the rocker cover put all back on. And then I can... That, that, and hopefully the fan belt will come by then. And I've also got thermostat to come. So, Right, well I'll just clean all the little washers up and then I'll start the video. Okay, so I've got all the head bolted back on with all the washers under all of the nuts. The little heat shield bit is back in. These are all just tensioned down the ratchet for now. But I'll do it with the torque wrench. This is set to, at the moment it's about half. It is set to 48 uh, newton meters, which is about 30 foot pounds. So as it says in the manual, start in the middle, go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So you start in the middle and work your way out. It's only half talking them, but... Yeah, there isn't much commentary. I'm just trying to get this right. Well, these, although these are only half torque as well, if the socket wants to come with it. Some of these are quite tight, some of them aren't. Although I did them all up with the socket to about the same. So. So that one's quite easy. So I've done one, two, three, four, five, six. I've got up here. This 
next one. And then two this one. That's them all set to 48 newton meters, which, like I said, is approximately half what it should be because 60 foot pounds or pounds foot is uh, that is 93.6, I think, uh, newton meters. So if I do them all to 95, because it says in the book 60 to 65. Yeah, I'll leave that set overnight because I've got a copper gasket in there, so I don't want to ram it tight before it's had a chance to settle. So I'll leave them all at that. No, I'll get back to it tomorrow. All right, thank you very much for watching this video. Hope you enjoyed it. Like and subscribe if you like little tractor videos like this one. Most of them are out in the fields, but it's fine. I'm waiting for the inlet manifold to come. There's like I keep saying, that's cracked and went for the fan belt to come. A couple gaskets, some studs, nuts, and the thermostat. And then it can go back together properly. But I can put the rocker gear and the push rods and all stuff like that in. And then it'll be complete. And I'll do the oil filter while this is all apart. Because I've got one of them. I've been meaning to change it for a long time. All right. Thank you very much for watching. Bye. Right, now they're done to halfway. It's been a day and I've let it all settle. And now I'm going to do it to the full tension. So that's all of the head stud studs torqued down to 95 newton meters, which is about 63, 62, 63 pounds foot which is um, in the middle of what it says in the manual. In the manual it says 60 to 65, so I thought I should do it in the middle. And it's all bolted down, so I can take these studs out, put the push rods in, put a little bit of oil down in these holes, and then that should be good to start bolting the rocker, cover, uh, the rocker shaft down, because that's over here, it's been degreasing and it's been dri it's dripping off dry. Clean that up with a rag and then put it back on. Right. Uh, like I say, the manifold doesn't come yet. It should be coming in a week or so. And that manifold stud hasn't come yet either. And the fan belt hasn't come, or the thermostat. So I can't put it back together properly yet. But hopefully in a week, week and a half, it should all be here. So now I'm just going to tension down the rockers. I've undone all of these, loosened them up so there's no chance of them just hitting on the valves, so they're all pretty free. The one at the end is touching both ends, but I think that's just because it's about to push the valve down, and that's got any more clearance on it. But these, I've just got this thing set to 40 newton meters, that's 30 pounds foot, just under 30 pounds foot over. So it isn't too much, it's just enough to hold it all there in place. Some people I don't think tension these, but if you do it tight enough by hand, it seems to work. Apparently, this is my first one, so that's a little tight. Here we are. That's them tension down. That's fan pattern. Now it's time to adjust the tappets. Okay, well I've got all the tappets set. The exhaust one's the 12 thousandths of an inch and the intake one's the 10 thousandths of an inch. They're all there. Now I'll just turn the engine over, so make sure it all works right. They seem to be rocking okay. This one doesn't seem to be going down properly, but I'll check the adjustment again. But and I've just had an agri line delivery come. That's the other head head stud. 
the head stud and the elbow studs and the nuts for them. I haven't got the inlet manifold yet. The inlet manifold and the fan belt and another gasket is what I'm waiting for. So, okay, I'll just video putting the tappet cover back on. I've checked those tappets off camera. Okay, well, so I've got the, the rock cover here. I have to set the tappets. I've put a little ring of gasket sealant on the head side, on the rocker cover side and on the so this edge of the gasket because this is where a lot of the oil leaks were coming from on this tractor so hopefully it shouldn't leak quite so much this time. Put the glove on properly. No, it's I dab it like that just so I can uh, push buttons on the camera because my because the touch stream doesn't like gloves. Right, that's down. Now I put the nuts. Nope, do put the nuts then. Where do I put the nuts? Ah, there. Here are the nuts. Both of the washer from underneath. Up that's in there. That's right. Good. Back on now. Sorry, guys. Will that drop in the spanner? Hmm. about as much as I can put it together for now and then I can put the aluminium thermostat housing and that fuel tank mount on but that's about as far as it go because I need a gasket so I can put the top of the thermostat on and the radiator together and the inlet manifold which is quite an important part of the tractor it's cracked on an exhaust port so it's not quite as bad as if it's cracked on an inlet port but so I suppose it'd just be a little bit louder compared to other tractors. These seem to be tightening down well. Smooth gasket sealant round. Because that other tractor we've got, the last owner, when he put it back together, there's gasket sealant in everything. I think he put gasket sealant on the head. And so it blocked the fuel system up completely. So one of the first jobs I had to do on it, the fuel system was completely blocked up. Go down tight. That's not going to go anywhere. Nice and tight. We're not going to get the gasket sealant. that should do it for this video thank you very much for watching i think this is part four so all right and the next bit will be assembling the cooling system once the gasket comes all right thanks for watching bye